uyeweza ezobala ebrabana kusi into nga ipiki saleo angishu uti mina into ingishi lumang panango kufakazi nkosi ngandolo uguti mina ige ufigi ile umsolo wangale skati ezobala waegate ese prakpana and even after you said you failed the first test and you cannot maintain that after the failure of the first test he remained in Gauteng that you cannot tell the court correct my lord what I can tell is that after when he realized that he failed he didn't want to give up then he went to the nearest appropriate driving license testing center to make other further bookings. Manjege, ngemba goguti asulege, wena ngege uwazu ugusho uguti uye wasala ekoli, noma uye wabuyele mvuti, indu engi yazi yungo zengandolo uguti uma ekaeta ugu sulega, uye wabona gala njengo mundu onga peli itemba, yena uye wabuka futi. So immediately after he failed in Boxbeck, he proceeded to Sorry, in Brakpan, he proceeded to Boxbeck. Is that is that your evidence? That is correct, my lord. Manje uti nuti itemaga to tukulega e Brakpan uye watubega wa e Boxbeck uti yewe ikuni songo senkanto. Was it the same day? It was the same day, my lord. Ibega tewe lo na lelo sugulelo uti e. Okay. In terms of the <coughs> the procedure to apply, immediately after a person has not succeeded like as your evidence suggests that he failed in Brakpan then he proceeded to 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 Boxbeck there is no time frame within which he can pre-book for the second test there is no time frame in between my lord the act does not give restriction when to fail as long as there is an available slot you <coughs> will be accommodated Manjege, asiko iskati e iguti sibegi wa nyisho uguti umundu maikata gusulega Gwa mele atate iskate singaga bese kanezo faga iskalo uti umteto sisegelo oba ubegi ili awuko Awu vimbeli umundu uguti ingeva guguta sulegi ili atate iskate singaga Lo umundu loya angafaga iskalo maikata gusulega So which year did he pass the, the learners? Was it 2014, 2015? 2014, my lord Manje uye wawazi uguti apase nini ilena asu tingo 2014 no mao 2015 uti 2014. How many days in between or how many months in between or weeks in between from the day he failed the second test in, in Boxbeck up to the day in which he passed the learners? How many days in between? Uh, my lord, if my, maybe I'm given a moment to go and, and check with the calculator, but if I may estimate because when he, after when he realized that he failed, he made the booking on the 20 seconds and he was given a date of September. Remember from time to time, you are not the only person that books. So you find that maybe where he failed, he realized that the, the bookings on which they are available, they are available in December and December is too, is too far for him. So when he checked with Boxbeck, he found that no, in, in Boxbeck, I can pass maybe in September. In September. Manje kutate iskate singaga nane uguze a pase Ukusuga ngale skati eze betule gile Uyofika ngelanga aze a pase ngalu Uti angina suistu niseko sama langa noma ii nyanga Kotoa indu ingi ibonile uguti ngemba kukutatule gile Uye watola ilanga ebel gate limigeza u September Mshambe uye watola wabo nuguti ama nyama langa Ako na begate gunga malanga wango December Kotoa ge ubo nuguti December mshambe wa wakati ugute ogo uguze iye na azo wazo guti apa alifuti inga ako etine se ugu tutata lelea langa lango September. But within that period that you have just demonstrated, you cannot safely tell this court that he remained in Houting until he passed the learner's license. You cannot say that to this court. My Lord, in my evidence in chief, I have only indicated on the day that he was at the driving license testing center. Manje ge kusuge la ngale suskati ezebe elulega nale skati ezebe ezopa ala futi mgo September we na auna asistu nse kwa ngege usho uutinse gile uguti waega te ela ekoli uti mina ngisho nje ama langa la iguti bega te epa langa awo nko siyankantolo ngale skati mpana ngopo fagazba. The essence of this question is that you cannot dispute the fact that <coughs> during the period 
sorry, at the time uh, this incident of the death of Senzo Meiwa, if he says he was in Guazulu Natal, that's the essence of what I want to draw your attention to, is that no one can come and rebut or dispute the fact that he was at KwaZulu Natal, except to locate him on the dates of the bookings. My Lord, what I know is that the Act encouraged people to apply at the appropriate registering authority. And if I may maybe explain the definition of appropriate registering authority in terms of the Act, it says that the person it is, it is a jurisdiction in which the person permanently resides. So I wouldn't live here at Enbuk in, 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 in Bilo while I know I'm staying in Pretoria. Manjege, when Angege Uguazu Gusho, Noma Age Kumuntonga was Ugusho, Uguti Umsol and Jemo by an eighty, why got the Engeko Eko, Lingales Kati, Uzebegulawa Usenzo Meiwa, Uti Mina in Dengiazio, Uguti Umtet. Utu muntu kwa mele apuke la athala kona. Wenza um, umfanigi so uti ngege iti umuntu ethala e Pretoria beso ya hamba eyo buka enda weni etize. Yena wazi nje ugutumtetu uti upuke enda weni la uthala kona. Thank you. Hence I'm saying to you the address that Moses Bia when he he made that application. He used a domicile of choice, the origin where it is not his permanent address. But that's not what the act says. The yes. act says it must be your area of area of jurisdiction that you permanently decide. Utige umuzi sibia useben se ikeli else tuze. Nala Ibuti Waigate Epu Kinga Kona Uti Gotwa Umteto Awusho Njalo Umteto Uti Kwamele Upuke Gasenda Weni Esetu Ze Nala Uthala Kona Yeah, but uh, let's just conclude this cross-examination by saying in all what you are saying has no attachment Sorry, may I approach <coughs> this way to you. My instruction is that on the 22nd when he came for the first two kings he returned back home. You can't dispute that. After the the bookings when he came to Brabban and Boxbeck, after those bookings he returned back to Wamashabatin. You can't dispute that. My Lord, my Lord. Those are his vision, it's not my vision. Ngege upigi sane no epu chile umsolwa gate 22 uye wabuyela emova ekaya ema sabati nuti yinto aisho yo aksiyo nindo eshuwa yimle. Secondly, when he came back for the sec when he came back in September I think that is for the booking that he made on the 22nd he was traveling from Guamasha, from Guamashabatin to Houting. You can also not dispute it. That's his version, my lord. Futi uma ebu ya ezopa la umsolo owesbini yena waiga de esuga emashabatini eza ekoli ezopa la gego wipigiseleyo uti indo aisho yomina angas. Okay, thank you. I think that will be relevant in so far as. Uh, I'm keen to know that we are appointed in, in terms of Section 334. 
the Criminal Procedure Act to 1 of 1977. Uti yebo minangienga haka ashwa ugu ya ngomteto sisegelo? To be a peace officer. Minanganga tengi ingu mundu ozi mele oseben sana o vigela ezo mteto. Who appointed you? The appointment is made by the department, by chief, the uh, department of justice. Minangika ashwe i department yobu lungiswa? But such confirmation of confer were conferred by the CEO who was appointed in terms of section 15 of the Road Traffic Management Corporation Act, Act number 20 of 1999. Mm -hmm. And you appoint you, you possess a certificate for such an appointment. I have appointment certificate with my lord. Ngina yo ingwati eboni sa yuguti minanga akashwa. So I'm in possession of the certificate. I have it, my lord. Una yo leo ingwati manje uti ebo. Can I have sight of it? Tuke lugu ibonu mnumza nungo mezu ingwati eboni sa yuguti mnumza nungo ukashiwe. Here is my appointment certificate. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, Mr. Sebande, can you beam that certificate on the screen? Then you must make a copy for the court because meaning it is a certificate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it possible? We Hello? We need to scan it. Yeah, yeah. yeah as long as it forms part of the record thereafter. Yes. And then you must give it a. It to be exhibit an exhibit uh, three. Yeah. Okay. You learn a carrot like elbow. Can I have a look at that? Mr. Matlowin, can you place this information verbal so that it goes into re the record, which is written okay. on this card, please? Okay, my lord, I'm appointed <coughs> as peace officer in terms of section 334 of the Criminal Procedure Act, Act number 51 of 1977. I'm also appointed as traffic officer in terms of section 3A of National Road Traffic Act, Act number 93 of 1996. I'm also appointed as an authorized officer in terms of Section 86 of the National Land Transport Act, Act Number 5 of 2009, and I shall perform such function and duties as prescribed. If this card is lost, uh, if found, kindly return it to RTMC Private Bank X147 Pretoria. The contact number is 0861 I'm flipping inside the, the, the the, the card it says appointment certificate national anti-corruption unit the emblem is road traffic management corporation the name is, is matlo cc the id number is also identified the personal number is 20150689 the reg is investigator the person who authorized the issue is the chief of executive officer the signature of the of myself is also here on the card. The emblem of National Traffic Police is also depicted on the card, my lord. Okay, thanks. Manje yeye na ufaga gwaonke ogu yutugu palwe la gule likarit la kelo guti ya na utashwe ugu ya njengo ugu ya ngomteto sese yelo la yeguti lipale ama kamawake nesbongo lipale no guti ya na usebenzu wenzani 
msebenzi wakhe wokuphenya futhi uqashiwe njenge poisa eyukuthi lona lingahleli mise abantu emgaqweni uma ebantu abantu beshayela imoto futhi akwazi ukuthi angaba hloma imibuzo uma engabe beshayela ebdedeni noma ba ebona into ethize ukuthi uyayisola futhi ke yena uyasho ukuthi waqashwa ukuya ngomthetho sisekele thank you nafela thank you if it may please the court, my lord, my lord just a few clarification questions. <coughs> uh, morning, Mr. Matlo. Morning, my lord. Uh, Mr. Matlo, I'm a bit confused. Uh, you were asked a question by my learned colleague as to when accused number one uh, passed his learners and then you said it was a date in September 2014. Is that your evidence? When, when did he pass his, his learners? We know that he failed in Brackpan on the 17th of uh, July 2014. Uh, on, the same, on the same day he went to Boxback, made another pre-booking pre and he was booked for the 22nd of July. When did he pass uh, his learners. Uh, if, I, if, I, if, I may, if I if I if I may if I if I if I may refer my lord because the evidence that I I, I used in my testimony which I was referring to the annex charge. Yes, it's so MCC. Can, can I can I quickly if I'm if I'm allowed can I quickly go and check just to confirm? Yes, just, just check MCC uh, as an uh, uh, exhibit or an extra MCC zero one at page twelve. Okay, let me check my lord. Ikon into in Bara Yolana Gonje Bote Um Solo Wokala Yena Upasini i Lenasiake Uting Tela Ugu Pega Goba Ubufagazon Kulmengabu Babgat the Buju Li Le Bubu Te Okay he failed on he failed on the twenty second of July yes. twenty fourteen. Then he made the bookings on the same day and he was it was issued with a date to write on the 15th of September 2014. Yes. Then I'm going along with it. Going along, going along with it. A test date is the 15th of September 2014. It is that's, correct. It is correct. That's when it passed. Yes, that's when but it passed. But if you look at your MCC 01 at page 12, page 12, where you said the people that were tested between 12 and 1 p.m. It was on the 15th of September 2015. That's why I'm confused. My lord, on, 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 on an extra MC, C01, page 12. Yes. These are the results. The test date is the 15th of September 2014. Then go to page 15. Page 15. Uh, of your MCC01. Page 15. Page 15, it shows all the applicants yes. that were there. I also highlighted his name, if you can able to check on its next chart, MCC's 15. Yes. 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 Now go to paragraph 4.18 of your annex chart, uh, AAA in brackets 2. 4 4.1? 4.1.18. 4.1.18. Into yes. Ngaga Uguti, Gunne Langa Lai, Uti Wena Uti, Uya Wapasa, Ngay, fifteen Zila September, twenty fifteen, Kotwa, Ubufagazi, Obu Paluela, Nabukumango, twenty fourteen, Age Unka to sell an hour Malanga. We are cut to Sagamach. My Lord, four point one point eighteen says, Netis record as shown on page fifteen of Alexa MCC zero one indicate that the applicants that were examined for Lena's license test on twenty fourteen zero nine fifteen. Test time from uh, 12, 12 to 13. Okay, no, that, that, then that is clarified. Now let me just three clarification questions on your evidence in chief. The events that form the subject of this case happened on the 26th of October 2014, and your investigations, according to the letters that you received from the National Commissioner in 2020, and Brigadier Gininda in 2013 was for you to investigate the period December 2013 
to December 2014, correct? My Lord, I remember I made two, two affidavits. I'm not sure which affidavit you're talking about. The first affidavit or the second affidavit? The second affidavit from uh, Colonel Geninda was to specifically investigate December 2013 until December 2014, correct? Yes, yeah, correct. Yeah. Now, with respect to the, the, the events, and it touches on relevance, you cannot assist the court as to the whereabouts of accused number one on the 26th of October 2014. Is that not correct? My Lord, I, I, in my testimony in chief, I, I did read out the reason why I was requested to divorce the statement. Yes. And the issue of relevance does not rely on me. I'm an officer employed by Red Traffic Management as an investigator. When I receive a request to say, uh, we want to know who the accused was, uh, did you obtain the learner's license? I will submit or depose a statement in such regard. Manje, I have been working for a long time. 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 2014 December. I can say that 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 I can so to hostel N43, Phosphorus, Postal Code 1594. Accused number one has been in custody since, uh, in, in prison, not in custody, in Modabi prison since 10 July 2020. And when you opened your system to indicate where he resides, it still shows so to hostel. Did it show that? My Lord. This is information that he provided at the driving license testing center. The point that I'm trying to prove to you is that unless the applicant who is a permit holder or a license holder comes to the DLTC or Arto offices and changes his domicilium, his address, that address that he last gave will be reflected as his current address, although he may have moved from the addresses that he provided to you. My Lord, my, my Lord, the ultimate provision that in, in terms of Regulation 82A says that if you have changed your address, you must inform the appropriate registered authority. Then we both agree. I've got no further questions. Manje, the umso lo ye na solo go e nga paga ti gusugela go twenty go nyaga u twenty twenty kodwa ikeli itema usboni salana ikeli kubona gele elase suto hostel. Loko ukubona kali sayo uguti umsolo waegate esala lapo kufige la namanja gaza ekutule ikeli lake uti umteto uti umainga abe uye walukutula ikeli lako kwa mele uye uyo bazi sa uguti ikeli lako asafani na lelu wa ugate ulbalisi Yes, Mr. Lisi, I've got your questions Okay, Mr. Umalu Thank you, my daughter, I definitely have questions, thank you Sir is it correct that you, you hold the rank of the superintendent? That is correct, my lord. You superintendent In your affidavit, uh, at paragraph 3.1, okay. the second affidavit. Okay, let me go to 3.1. The, the second affidavit. How many pages? Paragraph 3.1. There's how many pages? Because I don't want to come The thick one. The thick affidavit. It is? The thick, okay. Yeah. Exhibit triple triple A two in bracket. Exhibit triple A two in bracket. Okay. Uh, paragraph. Three point one. Three point one. Okay. Is it correct that uh, in that paragraph you stated that it was on Thursday, fourteen September, twenty twenty three, when you receive a request letter? Open bracket SAP21 close bracket from Picardia Kininda. An investigation officer attached to the SAPS National Court Case Unit as per Fosoras, case 636 of 10, 2023. 
Ikeni zo uguti we na uye wa asho uguti ngei 14 zika September kwa kate kungu lo sine u 2023 la uye wa tola ingwa ati ebe ibu ya kuprikati yeki ninda e uguti usebenza kule lkala elase kosloras i kes 63610 2023 uti yebo ikeni so? I think there was a typo there because the case that you are dealing with is kosloras kes 636 of 10 2014. Not but, 2023. But, but my evidence keep, I, I did, I did, oh, you did. I did keep, keep listening. My evidence keep. I, I went back and said, my lord, I noted. Uh, okay, twenty. Uh, okay, but the class. Okay. Uti ge mbona imbaza mla po la iguti lelkala upalo ugu telga 2023 court wa ikala lega 2014 uti ebo ngienga asho uguti mena ngienga yenza imbaza mungienga chela imkanto uguti ilungis. Do you have the copy of the email that was referred to you by Brigadier Kininda, making I, that I, request. I have, I have it, but it's a classified information. I cannot be able to, to share it unless it's the court order. In what sense is it uh, a classified information? It's a, letter, it's a letter which is marked restricted. So there's a level of, of, of uh, confidentiality in each every letter that we, we, we receive. That's why some say, from time to time, when you receive a letter, you need to understand whether the letter is classified or not classified. Unayona ingwa tile e uti uitole i email e suga kuprikatiye kininda uti yebo ikona kodwa yona i mfiso atsi ingwa denga ikipa nje nga panza kukuti inga ndolo iti ngi ikipeleo. Before I proceed, I'll be asking questions on behalf of accused number four, Mr. Mapesa. Okay, my lord, I'm listening. In your evidence in chief, uh, superintendent, you told this court that the accused visited the registering authority in Guangdongom. You recall that? My Lord. Do you remember that in your evidence in chief, you told the court that the accused visited the Guangdongom registering authority? But not if I may be allowed, can I go to the paragraph so that we be able to speak? Because what I remember is that uh, I indicated the transition that was performed. Then I explained as to what is it that transition was performed. And I said, uh, in this case, the accused uh, performed this transition at Nongo. Okay. Usakumbuda uguti ute umsolwa uye waya kui department yogyo lungi, yogyo lungi sa ilicense noma ilenasi gwa Nongo ma uti mthaumbe umangi ngaya guyo basing ya ifunda ngeisho uguti yebo ndo nge kubulayo uguti nje nge nga katisa uguti kubona galu uguti waegate eye kwa nongo ok can you then go to that paragraph uh, ok nga ya jebuleo paragraph utusaya kona uh, just to check with you if it is the correct uh, uh, number 6.11 says on the 25th of July 2014, Natis record, Natis, Natis transaction 57, which is in the bracket is present introduction, was performed on the accused number, accused ID number 85100462020081, on computer workstation ID number 43183007, at Pragpan registering authority by the official identifier SPL, which are with Natis user number. 4025F00R. I'm, I'm not sure if you are referring to this paragraph. No, I'm referring to the one that you said he visited the Wanongoma registering authority. Okay, let, let, me, let me read through and check where the, this is not Nongoma. Then I, 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 I'll, okay, this one, see, this one is Pat Pani. Okay, one for us, one for us, please see this one. One for us, one for us, one for us. Ubega sanda kufunda le sistelo ebe spagwe e prakban manje umeli uti ufuna amboni se labe kupadwe kwa nongo. Now I remember my lord, the, I was led to populate this information on the, on the, on the screen and I was asked question as to what is his address and I read it out on record. It was not in the, in the, in the, in the statement. Alright. Uti ge ngea kumbula ge manje mko singandolo uti mina ngienga funda loku okpalwe lapa manga itangabuzwa ikeli lake 
Yinto ego ti iye ya vela la paya na guma bona gode aksi yinto ego ti ipalwe la. You also referred in your evidence in chief to the number 078-343-6233. My Lord, maybe let me open because now when you say that number, I don't know it's by heart. All right. So, so that I can able to agree. Is, is it okay that I open the live stream? You can open the live stream. Okay. Uye wa kuluma nye nombo no yote ngo, uti nitelu uti ngivule, uwazu uti ngibone, ngoba leo nombo no mina angi yazi nge, izi yo. You say you don't remember it by heart. I just call it my lord. Your heart performs many duties. I'm joking as you know. the live system and now I'm going to to check the okay. I'm going to check the, the contact number. I'm going to type in the accused a number for the purpose of record is eight five one zero zero four six two zero two zero eight one. We are on the screen. The number that I confirmed is 0783436233. From where we are reading this number, is it provided in one of the annexures? From where we are reading, from where we are reading the number, is it provided in one of the annexures? Uh, uh, I don't, maybe let me check. I don't know. Can I, can I quickly check? Okay, maybe if I can assist you. Can I quickly check? Oh, okay. The number we found on our phone, it was on a bulo bufaga zuti ngela ogui pegi sisa. Can we quickly go to annex MCC ten? MCC ten. Yes. Yes, I'm there, my lord. Is that number provided? Uh, the number here is 078 3436 uh, 233. It matches with the one that is on the screen, my lord. In number, lo le, eh, we show la payana, iafana na le, ebule noa di uti yebo ziafana. The number that you are reading from the annex, is it, uh, is it the number that you are reading from the, from the, from the screen? My Lord, you referred me to a next chair, MCC 10. So I'm on MCC 10. It's a corporate, it's a receipt of payment. Okay. Let me go to Sanda Wifunda. Iafana na lena e uti ipa lena paya na kumabu na gute uti nko singandolo. Ungi ise u MCC 10 me na inge funda into ela po egui receipt. Yes, I mean the receipt. Where we are reading the number, the 078 number, is it the receipt that is on the screen? On the screen is not a receipt. It, the, I mean, the number that is on the receipt and the one that is on the screen are, are the same. Oti la paya na kuma bona gute ne nambolo ela na gule receipt di nambolo efana. Okay, the document that is on the screen. What is that document? The one that is on the screen is a query. When you query someone, but you know their personal information. Lana eguma bona gute yi ninge ngoba uti le yi resit uti le uma ufunu guazi imini ningwani yomuntu ukuga buyo na bese uzo wazi ge imini ningwani ya kilomu. Does that query on the screen form part of the annexures? My Lord, I was led to to populate the information on the screen during the live during the court proceedings. So this this information that is on the screen is not part of the annexures. Manje lo bufaka zilo bu obu na bu mabona gude bu na bu kona la bu la mapepa wako utika 
ithe uma ngilibele ngifana ngobufakazi ngiyengacelwa ukuthi ake ngizibeke kuma bona kude lezinto engizichazayo ingakho ngicinise ukuthi ngivula lapho When was that query made? When was the query made? Which query? The query. This query? Yes. I'm just repeat live now. Okay. All right. When was it made? You said it, it is a query. No, a query meaning that the language that I'm using to say I want to check your personal information. Oh, okay. That's what it right. means. Okay. Not necessarily that there's a query in terms of in that context. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Manje ke lokhu kwenziwe nini uthi ngiqeda ukwenza manje uma ngichaza le ligama elisho ephelezi ukuthi iqhiri ukufuna imininingwane akusu ukuthi yinto eyikuthi iyadingeka manje kodwa ngiyiveza manje njengoba ikuthi ngibuzwa imibuzo ngayo. The Besides the, the information, I'm referring you now to Annexure MM, sorry, MCC 10. MCC 10? Oh, yes, of Exhibit Triple A2 in bracket. MCC 10? Yes, besides the, the, the number that is depicted there, do we have any other records as proof that the number belongs to accused number four? My Lord, that is the one that was punished to, to the, the driving center by the accused. Manje, nga padle kwa ayo le nombolo. Ikona enyi nto enga bonisa ugu tingempela le nombolo e yake umsona uwe sinena. Uti le yi nombolo e sani kwa yona na payana e department ye driving license. When was that number provided to the department? My lord, if I may be given a moment, I will go to his profile because everything in the system live on it train. So to tell when the number was provided, who entered it, everything. Just a few moments, my lord. If okay. I may, may I proceed? Yes, you may proceed. Mkela ugniwa iskati, uguti ngibege, uguti inombo dole, sani gezwa nini, ngoba yonki nto ewe system, yasho uguti ya figa nini, saini kwa ya tatwa ubani leo mininimwa. Do you need more time? No, no. I'm just quickly going to check, my lord. I'm just quickly going to check. My Lord, I request that we take a short adjournment because I'll also request that I be provided with a copy. Yeah, let him finish, please.
Have, sorry, have you finished your colleagues with this? I've just received it, my daughter. I see that uh, it's a score of us 11. Yeah, I think that's uh, the witness. We give him some time. Yeah, I want to see him doing it. When I come here, he, if he has done it without me seeing it, I'll also be having problems. As a court Jesus.
uh, my lord, um, uh, on the screen that I populated here, there was a change of address, in address particulars. So the accused was staying in 4278 Zakir Road, Postal Ras, Bokspe, before it was changed to Nongo. Then I, I agree that the, the contact number was changed on this date because when I checked on the, on the date before there were no contact number. Is that an assumption, sir? I, I, I would say it's an assumption because the, the number that they capture on the system is not the one that you provide. So there is no way it is provided that it was changed on that day when the, the, the residential address was changed. Uh, remember, the, we, we are issued with the form to complete the, your details. So when you uh, capture your number, it will be captured as such. Manje, you were now ya kabange la na uguti inombo lo yoto ingo yeye ya kukulu angalo lelo langa uti aksi into ingi kabange layo into e uguti ipaliwe lagu isistimi. Unga kosa uguti umofiga unigwa iform e uguti ya kualisa uguti wali simini ni mwani yako yonke bese Good to Alice, what we system lend to a we pale, Bulelia from now. Where was that? Can continue. Where, where was this change of address made? The change of address was made by official identifier as XSC Sanguin, Sanguin, two, three, two, let me check, quickly check. Nongo, Nongo. Ikeli, Lele, Liela, Kukula, Bopi, Oti, Liela, Kukula. Umuntu obega te sebenza yena obega te gu X S sangwe ni ike lili kutulwe guanongo. What is the date? The date is is twenty fifteen zero two one three. Ilanga ela kutulwa ngalo belti ni uti lali twenty fifteen zero two thirteen. My daughter, at this moment, I request that uh, we adjourn for a short adjournment for a tea break. Okay, 15 minutes. Thank you.
It's important that uh, the information with regards to the document that you are looking at is in relation to the change of address. That is correct, my lord. The superintendent, the commissioner now put it. Ne nabo upege kwa na uma ina na nabo kukodwa kwa ikeli uti yewa ikoni songo senda dono Which registering authority was this change of address made? Ina ngo oma walotu Ikeli lele lwa naliela kukula kuki uti wa nongo oma I'm able to tell the court the description of the motor vehicle which was registered in that registering authority in nongo but Lord, we were talking about the change of what I said the transaction that shows here shows the, the change of personal particulars. Now you are talking about the vehicle. I'm getting confused. No, I'm, I'm moving on now. I'm asking another question. I'm, I'm done with the, the previous oh, question. Okay, my lord. So the question that I was asking you is, are you able to tell the court if there was a vehicle which was registered in Nongo, my registering authority? If you will be given a moment, my lord, can I go and check on the system? Ungawazo kusichena umuti ii moto lebe gate ipali suwa kwa nongoma Nchobo inye moto uti ntela umungena Kwe sistimi ngewazo kupega noko The first vehicle was registered in Pragpan. In 2014, 07-25. What is the description of that vehicle? Okay, let me quickly check it for you, my lord. It's a minibus, my lord. And what was its registration number? Uh, it, it, the pre previous registration number it's NKU. Sorry? The pre the atre the atre number page. So I'm going to give you the pre pre before the other one. Because the number plate change from time to time when it move across the province, depending on where whoever buys it. So I'm going to give you the previous pre previous one. It says NKU <coughs> 2652. <coughs> The other, another one is NMA 3689. The current number plate is NV12294. NV 
Are there any vehicles that are registered under Nongom? Registering authority. Uh, let me quickly check to, so that I can be able to give you an accurate answer. So, Kony Moto, a good is as Paliswe, one Nongoma, Uti Tindi Pege, with over the Wugnega in Pendulo, a funny. There is no vehicle that is registered in Nongoma, my lord. Ngosien kantolo ayiko imoto epaliswe nga pansi kwa se Nongoma. My lord, I see that the accused uh, hands is up. May I approach the accused? Yes. Thank you.
Thank you, my lord, for the court's indulgence. Superintendent, you testified that the previous registration dates for the minibus <coughs> is that the minibus combi? It's a motor vehicle designed and adapted for the conveyance of more than nine percent, but not more than sixteen, including the driver. Manjela, imoto ukulmanga yo ikumbi na uti imoto ego tiona inga faga abando abai shaka no lunye koto abanga tuli isume nestupa butlanga nse nomshaye. I'm instructed by the accused uh, superintendent that he will dispute the previous uh, registration numbers that you referred to, the NKU, NMA, and NV. My lord, the number played for, even if they change, the record will still be kept on the system. Of this system, Anja. He, he, Does your client say that these number plates, as you call them, number plates, registration plates, they don't exist? Or what is he say? He's saying that he, when he say he'll dispute them. He is saying that when he bought the minibus combi, it was a, a GP uh, registration plate. And it was registered and changed to NND. Yeah, okay. So yes. he's got the number plates. He, he, he cannot recall the full number plates. Wait, wait. So you say it was previously registered when, in Gauteng? Yes, in Gauteng. Because it's provincial. You, you, can, you can fish it. Is that if, not if, so? if, if I can be provided with the number plate, it's yeah, still be in the vehicle. That's why I'm saying you can change the number plate for 10 times as you like. Yeah. You can move across whatever, you, depending on where you stay. Utige in number plate when we are going to push a lamp. Our sheet of a number plate to go to the figure where you can go to a we are going to push a lamp. We are was waiting at our son, a woman in that one at number plate, Le Ebu Kunyangayo, AIGP, Yanaga was waiting. I show you in Bella in Jano. The change of uh, address, uh, Superintendent. Does it say who made that application for the change of address? On the system, when you check, <coughs> it, it tells you that uh, the ID number of the applicant, which in this case would be the accused, uh, transacted by changing of address. But in order for, the, in order for you to, to, to check, the, you need to also need to check the source document, which is kept in the office in, at Nongom. Manjege ugu kukulu wakwale likeli kuya shona ugu ti ubaani obegate kukuna leno chedi uti na hapa kwa sistimu kuya bonara ugu ti keli na kukulu manje guzo funega lelia formu ugu ti liwa nongoma ewo visi So the system that you are having at present or the documents that you are having at present does not say who changed or made that application for the change of address It indicate the official who effected the change hence I'm saying in this case, are, when I check the system from the analyst perspective, it tells me that the accused made an application for change of address. But to verify that, I also need to go to a Nengoma and uh, request a source document. Because anything that we captured on the system, they must be a supporting document. <laughs> Agubonagali suguti ubani umundu oye wafaga le sostreno. Uti uguya ngala ma uwe sistimi. Kuboni suguti umsolo wa uyena oye wa ayenza le sostreno so kukula ikeli la kekodwa. Uza ufane kukuti umayenga beguti ingega anga uza ufane kukuti aye wanongoma. Ayo tola iform ifai la ke umsolo uguze azo wazu kubona uguti ubani umundu oye wafaga le sostreno. Ya kiyos instructs me that on the 13th of February 2015 was not that Guanongom. My Lord, on the system, it indicated that there was even a payment that was made for, for a ticket in Nongom, meaning that the sole purpose of changing that address was to pay a ticket that was linked to the accused. <laughs> Why got the end of the year? Why not go? Go 2014. 
utige usa superintendent la kubona kala ukuthi kwayekade lo muntu eyokhokha ithikiti ebelikade anikwe lona ingakho egcinise kaphuphula nekheli lakhe the traffic fine that is correct my lord he went to wanongoma to pay for the traffic fine the system indicate that the traffic fine was paid in Ongongoma under the id number and the names of the accused begade aya kwanongoma yokhokha ithikiti uthi i system ibonisa njalo ukuthi wayekade yokhokha ino is ithikiti kwanongoma this payment of a ticket was it made on the 13th of February 2015? Uh, the payment, let me just populate it on the system. Notice of fees payment. You see, the, the notice of payment was made on the 9th of uh, November 2017. <laughs> It was in respect of which transgression? Pardon? For which transgression? For which I don't understand, my lord. It was a traffic fine for which offence? Okay, let me let me check it so that. But what, what, remember, at some point in time, I indicated you the risk. Let me quickly check that receipt where we were confirming the the, the cell number, because in that receipt it shows no my payment of where the the, the ticket was paid it says no more. Let me quickly check the next chart. What that the way you can see the la la pola bega de eo coca no la ayo coca la uti itingil pege la na sizo kumbura bes kulmanje resit ebe ega de ibu ya wanongo. May I also may I quickly check on the system, my lord, because on the next side I don't see anything, so that I can give an accurate information. Mr. Mumalo, your client on the 9th of November 2017, do you know where he was? Because I thought we were dealing with, uh, as Mr. Nisi said, an offence which happened on the 16th of October 2014. Now we are Easy with 2017. Yes, I'm about it, to wrap up. It's, a, it's in pursuit of what? I just want to understand. I'm about, I'm about to wrap up. Maybe you're a magician. No, I'm not. My lord, the, the ticket or the uh, infringement notice is in relation with the motor vehicle with the license number KKY511GP. KKY511GP. What is the date of the infringement? 
the date of infringement. Okay, let me quickly open it while I'm still here, my lord. The date of infringement is on the 1st December 2014. December And what is the offense? Park a vehicle where the parking constitutes a danger or an obstruction to other traffic or was likely to constitute a danger or obstruction to other traffic. Okay, I'm instructed by the accused that it was not in Nongom on the 20, sorry, on the 13th of February 2015, as I've alluded, alluded to, he was in detention, having been arrested on the 27th of November. 2014. He was arrested on the 27th of November 2014 and detained at Boxberg Prison. And he has been in custody ever since. Okay, my lord, if I remember, if I remember or I recall correctly, at some point in time, the accused purchased a, 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 a green Audi in a GP Street. Usually when you purchase a, a, a is it Jeep Street or not necessarily GP Street, if I, if, I, if, I, if I can go to the evidence so that I can give a, an accurate information about it. No, but but I, 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 now I recall where I no. assistant is now. No, Superintendent, please uh, don't miss issues. Just answer this one. Okay. The question that I've put to you. Okay. Then you can answer otherwise okay. if you want to. The instruction that I'm having from the accused okay. is that he was arrested on the 27th of November yes. 2014. Yes. He was kept in custody. Yes. He was detained at Boxberg Prison. In essence, what I'm putting to you is that the accused was not at Nongoma on the 13th of February, 2015. Then, then that, that uh, automatically institutes an inquiry to, 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 to substantiate as to who the person who changed the address in Nongoma. February <laughs> Okay, Further, he has been in custody ever since. That will include the dates of the first of December 2014 and the 9th of November 2017. My Lord, the 1st of December 2014, this infringement notice is in relation with an unattended, like unattended vehicle. Not necessarily that he was issued in person. It's an unattended motor vehicle. <laughs> Is it correct, uh, Superintendent, that you told the court that there is no, in this document, when the application for the change of address, there is no provision as to the number, the number starting with 078 that was provided? My Lord, when I check on my system, it does not reflect, but if I have to obtain a source document, it will indicate. Is it also correct, Superintendent, that you don't have any other source of information as proof that the number belongs to the accused, the 078 number? But Lord, I've already Such as the 205. 
records my Lord, from the pro uh, uh, service my Lord, provider. My Lord, I've already indicated that the information that is on NETIS is furnished by the motorist or the applicant who appro approached the appropriate graded driving license testing center. department <laughs> With regards to the date, uh, Superintendent, the 13th of February 2015, is it possible that another person will approach the, the Nongoma registering uh, authority to change uh, the, the address? It, it, is not, it has to be done by the person who changed the address, my Lord. That's why I'm saying we need to institute inquiry as to what transpired. But clearly it was not the accused, as I'm saying, that he was in custody on the 13th of February 2015. Hence I'm saying, my Lord, to warrant further investigation. I'm further instructed by the accused that the number 078-343-6233 does not belong to him. He has not used this number in his lifetime. But that is his vision. <laughs> Sorry, that number again is 078-343-6233. What is this number? An, an ID number? It's a cell phone number. Oh, I see. I'm instructed by the accused that the cell phone number 078-343-6233 does not belong to him. He has not used this number in his lifetime. I'm further instructed by the accused in this aspect that the number belongs to Tabanim Dad. The number ending 233, the 078 number. My Lord, I've already indicated that when you approach the appropriate graded driving license testing center, you are given a form whereby you are expected to complete your personal particulars. And you, there's also a block where you need to uh, acknowledge that you realize that furnishing a false information amounts to a fine or one year imprisonment or both. Msolo we sine uti nombolo le u zero seven eight three four three six two three three aksiona inombolo ya kuena uti yaga tabani mzaza augaza wena wa sebenzi sa uti ge u superintendenti umuntu ma eza la payana kwa mele apani nge nge minini wana eyaki umuntu futi gule ya fomu alto alisayo uya jelwa no uti Uma enga pani nge minini ngwani ewi yona lo mundu loya angase anigwe iskwebo sefayini noma iskwebo soguti ayotana echele noma akoke ifayinbese uyotana na seche. My Lord, may I approach the accused yes, and ascertain yes, yes, if yes. there is any further questions. Thank you. Thank you, my lord, for the courts and dungeons. Uh, thank you, superintendent. Uh, thank you, my lord. I have no further cross examination. Thank you.
Yes, Ms. Kimsololo, in cross examination. Thank you, Madam. Mr. Matlow, I've got a few <coughs> questions just to <coughs> clarify in order for me to understand the essence of your evidence in respect of Mr. Ntoli. Okay, Madam. Dinemibuzo emibalwa ubuze mwazo katisa izi ntwezi chize giza bengibuza imibuzo mailana nomnumza nuntu. The questions that I'm going to ask, I just need your clarity in case I understood it wrongly. Okay, my lord. Imibuzo engzo ibuza uuti ngi katisa mshaumbe uma inga bengiga kuzwanga gase uti ikulungile. Okay. Let's start with uh, paragraph H of our your statement, but it's part of your evidence, even if you're not going to that paragraph, but it's part of your evidence, okay. which is uh, the infringement that was made or dated 9 February 2016. Madam, yes. Madam, which because I've made two affidavits? Sorry? Which affidavits? Because I've made two affidavits. The first one, which has got 22 pages. Okay. Paragraph it's paragraph H. H. Yes. Utasiye ye we paragraph H. Nangoko unga yikoto bufagas bako. Okay, I'm there, my lord. Yeah, it's in respect of uh, the white polo with registration number EKG0615GP. And the date of the infringement, if I'm correct. It's 9 February 2016. That is correct, my lord. Uti gumaila na nepolo mshope inombo plate wa kategu EKG 615 uti yebo ikuniso yona EGP. Okay. Could you detect from your investigation as to who was the lawful owner of this motor vehicle at the time of this infringement? My lord, what I detected is that the permit that was affixed on the motor vehicle was not supposed to be affixed on that motor vehicle because it was lawful, not supposed to be in a lawful position of Volvo Southern Africa, which is based in Boxberg. Utige yena into aiboni u u yawazi na ugusho uguti le moto gwa kate gwe ya ga ba ni ngale skati gu zebe gwenza gala le sisenza galo uti into engi yazi uguti le ya moto Le permit ebigate ilapo, guakate inga melangi belapo ngoba leo moto, guakate imal guamele gube eye Volvo, South Africa. So you could not detect who the lawful owner of that motor vehicle on this day of the infringement. That is correct, my lord. Manje wena bonga guazu guti osho guti begu bani umniga zwale o moto ngale lo langa utiyebo. Okay. And then also in your every, in your investigation, is it correct that there is no any reference that is made of any infringement which occurred under this car, which is white polo, on or about the 26th day of October, 2014. In, in your investigations. That is correct, my lord. Ikeni so go to go penyo la kolo nke ayiko into eye ya yen zagala emka kweni ebe ya eye ya yen zogo tile moto ipa luem shamba noma imi swenge 26 October 2014 noti ebe ikeni. Okay. And then the first one, which is referred to as Nissan Almera, with the first infringement of 14 July 2013. You remember that one? Can we please go to the to the paragraph so that I can But it was part of your evidence. It's the first car. It's the first car on page two. I'm not denying my lord. That's the information I I extracted from the system. So let's not debate. Okay. I see again go page two immortal le gutwe i almera in Nissan. Yes, I'm doing my lord. Yebo sing lapo. Yes, which is the infringement occurred on the 14th of July 2013 under this Nissan Almera. I'm listening, my lord. 
Yebongi la lele njengo ba usho ubuti gune tala elie la enzi wa ile moto in Nissan Almera so, go July. My question is also from your investigation holistically there is no infringement that you detected under the name of Mr. Ntoli which was infringed on or about the 27th day of October 2014 other than this one that is reflected in your report. My Lord, I've made reference to various infringement under the accused. I'm referring to the Nissan Almera. From which period? Nissan Almera. You see that Nissan yes, Almera that you testified about? Yes. Yes. My question is, other than this infringement, which occurred on the 14th of July 2013, do you understand? Yes, I'm listening. Yes. Is there any other infringement that you detected which happened or took place on or about 27 October 2014 other than this infringement in other ways? Under this motor vehicle, no matter. 26, 26 October 2014. Under this Almera, no money. No, nothing. Yes, under this Almera. I have a question. 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 I According to my understanding, is the third infringement, but you'll correct me. Paragraph <coughs> K, it's the infringement uh, dated 20 March 2016. You Par see that one? Paragraph? Uh, K. K. Paragraph K. If I'm again. correct, but it's referring to Gray Polo. Yes, I see, my Lord. I'm there, my Lord. I see again, paragraph K, Lago Kulunyange Polo, a gray. And the registration number is CT79YZGP. Am I, I correct? It. I see it, Madam. Correct, Madam. Number plate, your corner, I got the good CT79YZGP. Did I understand your evidence correctly to say the lawful owner of that motor vehicle on this particular day, it belonged to Banakoma Fleet? That is correct, my lord. Okay. Is there also any infringement which refers to the date of 26 October 2014 under this vehicle on the name of Mr. Ntul? No, my lord. Bukona ugwe kwagum teto ngale motole. Gate 26 is the October 2014. The accused will tell this court that he had hired this motor vehicle only for two days during the period of 2016, not in 2014. That would be his vision, my lord. Uti ye umso uye Amalanga Mabini go twenty sixteen. I go twenty fourteen. When I utini uti yindo um solo I show you. And also lastly, uh, superintendent from your investigation also it, it it did not reveal as to who possessed this particular motor vehicle, the grey one, the grey polo, on the twenty seventh of October. 2014, 26 October 2014, in your investigation. My Lord, I mean, that will be in the records of the hiring company. Yeah, I mean, in your investigation. Yes, my Lord. In your investigation, you could not detect that. That is correct, my Lord. Uti ugu ya nge ngopenyo lwako, au zanyo ubone uguti kwa kate kuubani, umunto begate sebe nsale moto, ugu ya ngale nkampani ewe igate ikashi se ii moto, uti yebo ugu ya ngami, Okay. Same with the white polo. In your in your ex, in your investigations, you also could not detect as to 
who was in possession of that motor vehicle on the 27th of October 2014. That is correct, my lord. Forty Nepolo M. Thorpe, Leana, Auzanya, Uga, Zubonuguti, Yaga, the Setan, Soba, Ninga, 27, Ziga, October 2014, Utiago, Kuniso. Okay. And in terms, in relation to the other dates and locations detected by traffic officers under paragraph Q, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe from page 8 to page 15. You see those locations detected under the traffic officers? Yes, I see them a lot. We are born and I go to go very corner, Ugutama Poisa, Wumqua, Gona, Ayabona, Lemoto, Tiabon Yabona. Did I understand it correctly that these are the locations which are referring to this gray polo? That is correct, my correct. Name. And all those locations and dates from page 8 of your report up to page 15. They make no reference in respect of Mr. Ntoli. That is correct, my lord. Forty zonke lezo indawo. Gusuga go page eight to where go page fourteen. Abu Kola go Kulmango, Nomza Nunduli, Uti, away to Niso. One uh, but not last. The, the Grey Polo, let me start with the Grey Polo. You discovered that it belonged to a fleet company. That's correct, ne? That's correct, my lord. Ipolo, Leana, a Grey Ute, Yaga de Umnigazwayo. Did, were you able to get information as to when was it hired, to when, in your, in your investigation, or you couldn't detect that information? It was not part of the scope, my lord. When I was able to get the information as to when was it hired, to when, in your investigation, or you couldn't detect that information? Okay. Same with the white polo. It was not part of your duties to check as to when, from when to when was it hired to that particular uh, fleet. The, my lord, the, the white polo white. was in position of a fraud. The, 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 the permit that was affixed to the polo mm -hmm. was not supposed to be there because when I check on the system, the lawful owner of that permit was Volvo, meaning that that payment was supposed to be somewhere in the offices of Volvo. But you are again when a Ubuwa the Ubuwa the Ubu Pega Nayo, Lea Polo Uti Mena Umangi Pega, Lea Polo I permit Lebe Ilapo, Yaga Tinga Fanelanga Ubuti Ibe Corner Lapo, Genga Yoguti, Yawamele Ibe, we Volvo, Emma Office in Way Volvo, Yanga Melanga Ibe Guleomo. And it is also evidence that you couldn't verify the real owner of that motor vehicle. That is correct, my lord. Footy when I was on your Ubaz, Ubutola Uluaz, Loguti, Gogga, the Gubani, Umnigas Wale or Mot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my lord, for no further question. Yes, thanks. Any re examination? As a third piece, my lord, just two questions. And starting from the questions that were asked by Advocate Nshololo. Um, she put it to you that uh, accused number five hired the gray polo for two days only in 2016 and not in 2014. And she referred to the color of the vehicle as gray as it stands on the infringement notice. But on Friday, I know she wasn't here on Friday, you did go into the system to establish the true color of this polo. Can you just put it on record? What is the true color of this vehicle? My Lord, the, the true polo. color of the, the polo is silver. Manjaige, umeli u kuluma nge polo eguti i gray leguti uye wati iye akashwa ngo 2016, ayo ngo 2014, 
kodwa ngolo esihlanu waye kade engekho ungasitshela ukuthi ngolo esihlanu konje wawuthi umbala wa Leopolo injani uma uyibheka kwi system uthi yaye kade isilver and advocate Mumalo asked you about the first vehicle that was registered under the name of a case number four and you mentioned that It was in in in, uh, in 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 Brackburn on the 25th of July 2014. On the 25th of 25th of July 2014. Okay. Nomzani numalo ukbu zenge moto yokala ebegate ipaliswe umsolo wesine wena ute yaegate ise Brackburn ge 25 ziga July 2014. The minibus that 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 you described. I recall, my lord. Yes. You mentioned that the first address that was given was 4278 Zake Road. Okay, may I refer to the address so yes. that I can uh, agree to the... Yes. Bokulmenge Kheli Domkwako Uzake Okay, if I recall it, it's the one that has been requested by the, by the council, isn't it, my lord? Because the, the council yes. requested the copy. Yes, the, the, the initial address that was given by accused number four. Okay, let, let, me, let me check. for which you made copies for advocate Numano during the adjournment. Okay, that's why I wanted to go straight yes. directly to the email rather than yes. to a live system because the live system is still going to take time because of the network. Yes. If I may go to my emails just, just to check. I'm opening it from the email still loading. Which way Vula Gusuga Guma email Asa Vula again? Yeah, I open it, my lord. That is the one that is appearing on the screen. Yes. When was that notice of that first address given? <coughs> what is the date? Uh, 
the notice of address, the initial word malot is on the 25th of July, 2014. Thank you, my lord, that is all. Thank you. So how many years have you been working as an investigator for NATIS and as a superintendent? It's more than seven years so far, my lord. So as Katis Nagana no seven and Jeng Yongom Hey when Natis Utisa would do le Iminyaga is Kombisa. Have you ever encountered a situation where a police investigating whatever the police supply you with a number? A registration number, let's say Rata 12345 GP. And then you go to the system and you discover that that number doesn't exist. It's not possible, my lord. Usuge wasangana ne simo la yekuti mshambe amapoisa tizen beba nige number plate eti zogo tui peny base mawe faga watolo gudi leo number plate i sebenzi uti ka. No, it's a cloned number. Cloned number. Okay. The police come to a robbery scene. They don't know that that number is cloned. And they request you, like Geninda did, mm. to find out who is the owner of that number, under who, whose name is it registered, which address, etc., etc. My, my Lord, the information will populate on the system. Even if it's cloned. Remember what these people. No, no, want... just listen to me. Okay, my Lord. Even if it's cloned. Yes, my Lord. What do you understand by cloned? Cloning is that you, you, you duplicate something unlawfully so. That's my understanding of clone. No, you create something also. Oh. You can duplicate and you can create something. Okay. You have never, un <laughs> you have never encountered such a, an exigency. No, I, I've never managed. Where what? the number, <laughs> you, when you check it, it's nowhere in the system. It's nowhere. Because Are you with me? I, I'm following you, my lord. Have you ever found out something like that? I have never, my lord. Okay, fine. Usige watanga na ni simo la yego ti inomba plate eti zelebo gati unigwe yona mshamba amapo isa ugu tu yepe nje base utolo guti namba plate leyo aiko go ba aband be bagati base nzele yona uti ta angaza watanga na ni simo la yego ti. And is it a requirement when you register? No, no. Is it a requirement when a person has a vehicle and you want to change the address of residence that you must bring documentation proving that you are the owner of that vehicle? That not necessarily the vehicle, but the proof of address where you stay. Yes. So I can register a, a, a vehicle which is not mine. If I give you an ID and say it was registered under Jobek, I want it to be registered under the Free State. Do you demand that you want to know where I bought this motor vehicle, which, which year, which date, where are the receipts, was it cash, was it under a higher purchase system, that type of inquiry, do you conduct it? My Lord, to, to change the, the, the registration of license number, mm -hmm. It's a, there is a requirement documentation that needs to be completed. Yeah. So if when you approach the appropriate registering authority with your acceptable identification and you say, uh, I'm no longer staying in Houting, I'm now staying in Limpopo, then you'll be given the files to complete and they will also request you to produce a proof of resident in a jurisdiction of Limpopo where you reside. So it is not possible that the, the, the vehicle that does not belong to you can end up belonging to you. Hey, then there's no theft of vehicles in South Africa. My Lord, if are, you, are you listening to yourself? Vehicles are stolen every day. And they are registered every day under false, is that not so? Under false IDs. You come with my ID, they put their face on my ID. I go to Mr. Sibanda, he's the registering authority. 
He looks at my ID, forged my ID, he doesn't know. You say that exigency doesn't exist. Uh, but if it exists, but I think in that case, my love, it will be 10%, 10% of it. Ask Mr. Mnisi, I see smiling. <laughs> 10%. Okay, no, that's what I wanted to know. Whether, in fact, do you have specimen forms? Yeah, I, I can, I can. What? Yeah, can you print it for us? Because you kept on saying that uh, when you register. Yes, let me, let, the, let me the, quickly. Then you've got to personally do it and you must fill in the, the particulars and then after having filled the particulars you say there's a penalty clause which warns you that if you provide or furnish false information you are liable to be arrested, fined or okay. sent to jail on can conviction. I, can I send them to advocate? You can't do it now. I can do it now? No, no, do it now. Okay, my lord. Because that is your evidence. Okay. We don't have the road traffic Act here. Do you have it, Mr. Mr. or any council here? Do you have the Road Traffic Act? Mr. Mumala, you prepared. You prepared in September last year. You don't have the Road Traffic Act? No, I don't have. So when Mr. Mutlung keeps on saying the Road Traffic Act says this and this and this, Mufananan. You said it's Act, you said it's act 25 of what? The uh, National Road Traffic Act, yeah. Act number 93 of 1996. 1993 <coughs> of 1996. Yes, my lord. 1996. When you say that you have to 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 say that Ayenze ingathi imoto yakhe uthi ke uma kwenzeka akuvamisanga kodwa into mhla umbe engayenzeka amaphesent angaba ayishume la imoto ingahle ibhaliswe ngegama ekungase ilona lomuntu umnikazi Malot here is the uh, a notification of change of address Yeah 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 just listen to me are you able to give us a after it has been scanned it must be scanned like this it must form part of the exhibits. Is it possible? It's already in a soft copy, so I can just forward it. Yeah, okay, fine. Is it okay? Anybody? Objection? Mr. Mnisi, Mr. Rappelese, Mr. Mguni, no, Mr. No, 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 no. Objection, thank you. You don't want to have a sight of that form? We, we can have a sight of the form. Yeah, because he's talking about a form. But we all don't know what the form says. Oh. If Okay, for court purposes, that will be exhibit what? Triple A bracket four. Triple A bracket four. Okay. So, what are they saying? What are they saying? What do you understand by this? It has nothing to do with just one for my education. When people say what do you understand by that? Can I not answer that one? You can't answer it. Okay. No. Fine, please. I know why. <laughs> because it's a huge industry. Huge industry. Even I, even the Chief Justice, the two Chief Justices actually, the previous one and the present one. Their cars were stolen. And because of their status, the police, they somehow suspected that they are going to be crossing the Pongola River to, to take them to Mozambique. They knew that, the police. And they after ultimately... Ah, no, that one, that one is a hotbed. <laughs> But after that, they recovered them after about three months, six months. They had different uh, registration numbers, different engine numbers. That's it. So, are we through now? Mr. Baloy, can you, can you be excused? It's just arising from the um, court's That's questions. not evidence. It's 
maximum level. Y yes, just, just arising from the questions that were asked by the court. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Yeah. yeah the, the court asks you how many years you've been working as an <coughs> investigator on Natis, um, and you said seven years, but the, the question has got two parts. Um, as an investigator and on Inat, on, on Natis, how many years have been have you been working on the Natis system, all in all? Sixteen years, my lord. Thank you. Sixteen years. Sixteen years. Yeah. Experience. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Tell us Okay, thanks ever so much, sir. The court, please, my lord, we've reached a stage where we now have to deal with the cross examination of Lieutenant Colonel Mangena. Mangena, yeah. Yes. Is it here? I've discussed the matter with my, 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 my colleagues. We haven't really reached a, 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 a consensus on the issue. The, the one complicating factor is that Mr. Mgomezolo needs to go through his evidence as well as the evidence of the other witnesses. Um, and it, it would appear, my lot, we might be... Um, uh, we might have to postpone the matter at, at this point. Uh, we just need to get an indication of how long my colleagues are. Uh, how many need. witnesses were there? About uh, that, that thing. Once all the uh, expect evidence of all those uh, ballistic. Hmm. So what, what was the scene camp, et cetera, et cetera? Yes. Um, I think about uh, we led two, uh, two witnesses. But regarding the ballistics, and we still want to lead another expert. So, um, yeah, all, all in all, it's about, uh, yeah, I think, about three or so. I cannot remember from the top three of Three new witnesses? Uh, no, no. I'm talking about the ones that the have been The evidence of three experts. Yeah, that, that has been led already. Yeah. And in addition to Lieutenant Colonel Mangena, there's still one more witness. A ballistic expert who verified his results who must still testify. So you want us to do what? Well, I'm saying a lot. The state is ready that we can resume the cross-examination of Colonel Mangena, but the defense appear not to be ready. They mentioned the issue of uh, the expect, their expect that they still need to consult this as one? well as a report. I, I thought the time when yes. we... <laughs> Agent last year, you remember? Yes. They said that expert is in Israel. Mm. Is that not so, Mr. Ramusipiri? Yeah. Uh, I think he was somewhere in, in yeah. No, 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 no. He was in Uganda. In, in Uganda, yes. what? not in Israel. No, but we, my lot, uh, the long and short of it is he has prepared a report for us that was made, made available to us in December. So? But we need one more consultation with him, and also there are to be told there are issues financing uh, his, his appearances here in court. So we're still uh, going through that. Uh, and also the issue of Mr. Gomez, he needed to familiarize himself with the ev evidence of Mr. Mangena and I think other witnesses. He, he's just received disclosure that was here this morning. But he can speak for himself. Yes, yes, Mr. Gomez, how long do you need to my Lord, I've received more than 9,000. I've received more than 9,000 pages. Now, but so, you said you want to reach the evidence of the ballistic experts. Who? And that, who else? There are three ballistic experts that yeah. I need to go through. And it can and be 9,000 pages. No, no. I'm, I was referring to the total number of pages no, that no. I read this evidence. El Kedah. That's why I can tell you it can be 9,000 pages. Sorry, my Lord. Just, just, just extrapolate the evidence of Mangani there on those it's documents you have. Bundles, I think. <laughs> yeah, the one that they gave us. Yeah, let's see them. Yes. Let's see how many pages. Not the whole evidence, starting with uh, <coughs> the beginning of the trial. The evidence of Mangani and the evidence. Who's the other? It's, uh, I think it's Rudolf. Rudolf, yes, Rudolf Mangani and the third gentleman. I think it's. 
Mr. Rama of CPD, who are the experts who testified regarding ballistics? Yes, well, that's why we are well, uh, You are here, you should know. Here, so, uh, you, you don't know. Yeah, first. Yes. Mangena, there's uh, Rulofse. Mm -hmm. yes. And then there was a, a gentleman from uh, Cleveland, Mr. Mchali, yeah, who testified but, about the handling of that firearm, mm. how it left the ACP, yeah. the team, uh, uh, stores, and your stores. Oh, there was another gentleman uh, who was wearing a cream suit who yes. also dealt with the firearm, but I forgot his name. He's no longer in the employ of the... What did he say? Case. What did he say? He, yes, uh, we, he also dealt with, with the handling of that What firearm. did he say? I'm not that old. I need to refresh myself on that. We're going to argue this case. It, it's been some time. We must have not. all the information here. My lot is only dealing with one case. Me? Yes. Yeah, but I know it. So this gentleman with the phone, phone suit, what did he say? What yeah. was he? Yeah, my, my recollection, my lord, is that um, he testified about the process at the ballistic section. Um, oh, I remember. A white gentleman, yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm the just... one who says uh, they've changed the setup there, blah, blah, blah. Yes. What's just... his name, by the way? Um, just trying to verify his name a lot. Um, Uh, I'm just looking at the list of uh, exhibits, my lord. Um, um, we, we will come back to to the court about that name. Um, but the fact of the matter is that, my lord, that the defence needs time um, to peruse as far as. Mr. Mgomezuel is concerned to peruse the evidence of the ballistic experts. And there's also an issue about the, um, the report of the, the ballistic uh, expert. Uh, I think they'll be in a better position to indicate when they will be ready. Yeah, Mr. Mgomezuel, how long do you need? My left, I'm sitting with 140 pages. 140? 40. 40, yes. Is that the evidence you need to read and prepare on? That's correct. 140? Yes. One only night's Mangena. One night's work, ne? It's only Mangena. Oh, you want to deal with Not Mangena the initially and the others? Others are having counted those pages. He says it needs time for 100. How long? How long, sir? 140 pages. My Lord, I still have to compare this evidence of Mr. Mangena with the previous expert witnesses. Yeah, yeah, you have to read tender. all of it. So, my Lord... So, it's how many pages? Because now we... I was told that we are approaching a, re a recess on Thursday. This Thursday? This Thursday. So, you're suggesting to have Easter first? That's correct, my Lord. If we <laughs> back on the 15th of April, I would be fully prepared to... 15th of April? That's correct. When is the recess, Mr. <coughs> It starts on, on, on Thursday, my lord. The recess? Yes. Until when? Um, I, I think until the, you know, the um, second week in, 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 in April. The date in April will be what? Yes. 
Uh, I, I will have to check first, my doctor. I, I don't have those do dates at the top of my head. Um. So are you suggesting that we should come back on the 15th of April? Um, uh, uh, when I spoke to the role planner this, this, this morning, my lord. Um, Who is that? The role planner. Yeah. Yeah, she indicated that we can postpone to any date that is suitable to all the parties. Um, so we, we're not really bound by the, by the term um, as long as it's suitable to all the parties. As this is a, it's a case on a special role. Mr. Ramsepidi, what's your view? Uh, as this is a good My Lord, uh, uh, in fairness to Mr. Mgomezu, who was retained for the trial within the trial, but now he's running solo. Uh, for him uh, to familiarize himself with the evidence led, uh, I'm amenable to a date that is suitable to all counsel here, uh, including Mr. Mgomezu. Mr. Mnisi? I would, I would uh, from the solitude of my conscience, my lord, had it not been for Mr. Gomezulu's uh, concern that he needs to go and prepare, I would have, I would have opted that we even sit during recess. However, I think that would be unfair for Mr. Gomezulu. He needs to go and prepare. So in that vein, I am amenable to a date that would suit uh, him and the other concerns as well. Okay, Mr. Ngomano. My daughter, I think it will be proper that uh, we give Mr. Ngomazulu uh, an opportunity to, to go through the, the, the records. Okay. So the 15th Ms. Mshololo. will be suitable. Thank you. Thank you, my daughter. My daughter, uh, my request was going to say, my lord, that uh, if the court can give us the opportunity to adjourn this matter until the 15th of April, because the 15th of April is the beginning of the second uh, term, my lord. Mm -hmm. That will enable the defense to finalize the issue of uh, uh, the expert, which we are busy uh, with, my lord, and then also prepare for a further cross-examination. Thank you, my lord. Yes. To this roster mm. that has been given to me by um, Mr. Jonas, thanks. Um, the, the second term starts on the 10th of April. I see Advocate Michelle says 10th the 15th, of April. Yeah, 10 April to the 18th of June. Yeah, I think we'll start to, we'll postpone up to the 10th. Is that okay, Mr. Still fine. Then you don't have to go to. I. She says, she says the second term starts on the 15th, not the 10th. Let, let's check. The the, maybe what's that? Yeah. When does the second term start? 15th. Yeah. I, I think we can settle for the 15th, my lord. It's a Monday. Okay. Fine. I don't want the JP to say, the judge is a little bit He wants to be paid for sitting at home. <laughs> Okay, because of those reasons, right, that Mr. Mgomez wants to familiarize himself with the evidence which preceded his appointment, which commenced with the trial within a trial. Consequently, he says he has to apprise himself of the whole evidence which preceded his appointment on the trial within the trial. Am I correct, sir? That you st you're going to start from the beginning. You don't come here on the 15th and say, I, I got long way and you down. That's correct, my doctor. You start from the beginning. From the beginning. Right? That's the indulgence this court can grant you. In fairness to your client and yourself and to everybody. Okay, so we postponed this matter for that reason and the fact that there was going to be some recess. To the 15th of April when we shall again proceed to this matter. Inga yoku tumlum zanu mungo mezu lu sizo kumbulu guti bege nge nebule tala nga le sikaba si trial within a trial. Manje ege usega ya kubega ne tala lo nke.
kwamele ayofunda ubufakazi njengoba sibona lapha kuna maphepha maningi wabufakazi ekuthi bese sibakhulumile kwamele ayozilungiselela ukuze azokwazi ukuqhubeka ngecala manje lecala lihlethiselwa emuva kufikela nge15 zika April la ikuthi icala lizoqhubeka nomzana ngomezulu anikwe ithuba lokuthi ayofunda yonke into ekuleli cala kusukela ngale sikhathi kuqalwa kufikela namhla Just, just before we adjourn, oh. there's that issue of the notification of change of address. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was handed up as exhibit triple, triple A4. Triple A, with A respect, four. Yeah, triple A in brackets, formal. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. So, Mr. Mugumezi, you see, up to now, the record is about 9,000 pages. That's what... Uh, it's, it's from, is that record from the beginning? That's correct. From the beginning. Of the trial. And, my Lord, I failed to indicate that the second docket has not been disclosed. And I was promised Which to get... Which docket is that? 375. Then I was promised to, to, to get the docket. Oh, you remember? Is that the Longoma one? No, no, no. No, no, it's not... It's not the... All the councils... Captain... Well, like we told with some Gomezuli, he'll get it straight after the proceedings. I don't know why he's raising that. No, we, we made arrangements this morning <laughs> that he'll get it straight away after the... Now? Yes. I said him, he can yes. accompany us to the office. We'll give him copies of the document. Okay. They say if you accompany them, you'll get it now, 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 now. Okay, thanks. Then. We adjourn until the 15th. <laughs>